2,000 people, represents 2,000 people. And this is the number of Aussie men who will take their own lives each year. That's just Australia, and that's just this year. That's about five men today, about five men tomorrow, the day after that, every day this year, until we reach that number. In fact, that's about, in about with the number of people we have in this room, this is roughly the number of men who suicide about every five days, six days in Australia, every single day. And if you're in this room between the ages of 14 and 44, which I think the vast majority of us are, the biggest threat to our lives right now is actually ourselves. You know, we live in Australia, we've got seven out of the ten deadliest animals in the world in the country. You know, we've got high rates of melanoma, and basically this country wants to kill us at every single turn. Yet, it's ourselves that are our biggest threat. My name is Lee Crockford, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Spur Projects. We're a not-for-profit organisation, and really simply, our mission is to make it an easier option for men to take positive action than to suicide. We do this through a whole range of individual projects and campaigns, some digital, some live, events, uh, videos, a whole range of different projects, each of which that uh, focus on a slightly different demographic of men in Australia. But really what underpins the work we do is this. There's a whole range of amazing, amazing services out there across Australia, particularly in the intervention space. If you're at a point in your life where you're on that edge, where you might be in a position where suicide is potentially in your mind, there's a whole range of amazing organisations that are there at Crisis Point to help see you through. When we started five years ago with the project, so we looked at, well, how is it that we can give guys the tools and the resources and the language that they need at a time in their life, much earlier on, so that when those tough times do come, they can navigate out of that much quicker. And that's always been how we've lost is how is it that we can be a preventative service as opposed to an intervention service. Now, this is the stats that we often rely on. This is the proportion uh, of deaths to suicide per each age group. So you can see right from the ages of, of 14, or 15 on this graph, but it's actually 14 in real life, up to the ages of about 44, suicide is the leading cause of death for men, right up to that age. And so this is where Spur Projects traditionally has focused a lot of our time and our energy and our focus. If you look up to the 85 plus age group, suicide, although still far too high, makes up about 0.3% of the total um, causes of death at that age. So in some ways you'd be, think, you'd be forgiven for thinking that suicide is a much bigger issue for young men than older men. And that's not actually quite the truth. If we look at the actual real numbers of suicides per age group, you'll see it's fairly even and consistent across a lot of the age groups. There's a little bit of a spike in middle age, but if you look again at that 85 plus range, before we said it was only 0.3% of the total number of deaths within that age group, yet the real number of suicides is double the national average. So these are our grandfathers. You know, potentially for some of us, our dads, family friends, etc., taking their lives at a rate twice of that of the national average. And so this is why we want to start a project called Old Man. Um, and really, at the uh, really underpinning that is how is it we can make it an easier option for older men to take positive action have that connectivity and the support that they need so that they don't be suicidal. The reason why we're looking at the name Old Mate, um, A, it's a really Aussie term um, for those of you who may not be from Australia, who may not have heard of this term. It's one that's really casually uh, thrown around, it's a colloquialism. And the reason why I love it is that it has multiple reasons, uh, multiple meanings. One is that it can be used for a term for a friend, an old mate. It can also be used for a term for someone that you don't know. And this is really important in the old man, or in the old man campaign, because not only do we want to target old men that we know, but we also want to target older men who potentially we don't know, those men that don't have those support networks and social connections. So, at this point, and this is still very early uh, phase, we're possibly looking at old man being a kind of two two main phases to a one digital platform. So, phase one. Later in the year, we want to have a weekend where we challenge, not challenge, but we encourage all Australians to spend the weekend with the older men in their lives and to document what are their stories? How is it that they're spending time with those older men in their lives? How is it that they let the older men in their lives know that they've got support, that they've got the, those networks there to rely on if they need to? The challenge, oh, and so then the platform in theory would um, collate all these posts with the hashtag Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram, all these stories 
all these experiences, all these connections being shared in a centralized platform. The plus side of, of something like that in phase one is that it's a really easy buy. You know, we're simply asking people to connect with the older men in their life and to post about it. Really easy buy. The challenge with that though is that it's potentially a little bit token and also it uh, fails to recognize a whole heap of older men out there in the community who don't have those support networks to rely on. And we know from the data that some of the key contributing factors for older men suicide are loss of connections. They don't have those support networks. Um, and those support networks, often in that age group, around their partners, etc., their friends, are starting to, to die themselves. So phase one is quite limited. But phase one is potentially a really easy way to get people's attention, easy way to get it in the media, grab people in. But then this is where phase two is really important. The second part of the digital platform is almost a, uh, a platform for aged care services to be able to jump online and create profiles for older men in their care, particularly ones who don't have those support networks. So for example, a, a retirement village here in Brisbane might chuck up, you know, here's Bill, here's his story. Um, we would love you to come and volunteer at our retirement village you know, on a Sunday afternoon and play a game of chess with Bill. And so all the aged care providers around Australia can log uh, and create profiles for uh, men within their care. People then who are engaged with phase one will already be on the platform, can click through and go, ah, oh, I spent last weekend down the market with my granddad. Maybe next weekend I could volunteer at one of these services and you know, go play a game of chess with old man there. And that's kind of at least where we're at at the moment in terms of the core, uh, the core functionality of what the digital platform might look like. And then of course on the platform we want to have um, help services around you know, how is it that um, if you are volunteering with some of these organisations, how do you have conversations with older men and a whole range of other uh, bits of information about mental health. But really at its core, Old Maple want to reduce the rate of suicide amongst older men by fostering connectedness and relationships.